will come again. Today, our topic is the complexity of recursive algorithms. The process of finding the complexity of recursive algorithms is different from that for non-recursive algorithms. Here, we have to obtain a formula with no recurrence. There are three known methods for finding the complexity of recursive algorithms. Substitution method, Kirchhoff tree method, and master method. In the substitution method, we guess the solution and then prove its correctness by induction. In the recursion tree method, we evaluate the characteristics of the recursion tree. We did that in merge sort algorithm. The third method, uh, which is master theorem, or known as the cookbook method, some common forms of recurrences are solved in general by the master theorem. We only have to evaluate the conditions of the theorem. We start with the substitution method. In this method, we only try to find a closed form found on the recurrence instead of trying to find an exact closed form. There are two steps in this method. First, we guess the solution. And second, we prove the correctness of the guess by induction. This method is very efficient if we find the parameters in step one correctly. Here is an example. We have the function for finding the sum of n integers. Since sum one is computed using a fixed number of operations k1, then t of one equals k1. However, if n is greater than one, the function will perform a fixed number of operations k2, and in addition, it will make a recursive calls to sum of uh, n minus one. This recursive call will perform t n minus one op operations. So in general, we'll have the formula t of n equals k2 plus t of n minus one. For asymptotic uh, estimation, we suppose that k1 equals k2 equals one. Then the time complexity of the sum function can then be reduced to solving the recurrence relations. First, t1 equal one, t of n equals one plus t of n minus one if n is greater than one. By applying these relations, we can compute t n for any positive number n. Since t n equals one plus t n minus one and equals one plus one plus t of n minus two, which is two plus t of n minus two and equals three plus t n minus three, etc. In general, after k operations, t of n is equal to k plus t of n minus k, which is equals to n minus one plus t of one. Since t of one is equals to one, then this is equals to n. Time complexity for this algorithm is big O of n, but really it's not good to use recursion for finding the sum since we can find it with the same complexity using a non-recursion algorithm. Here we have extra cost space complexity because of the DAC recursion calls. Space complexity is big O of N. Here we have another example. Suppose that T of N equals big O of N plus T of N over two. The general formula, T of n equals n plus t n over two, which is equals to n plus n over two plus t of n over four plus t n over eight, etc. And since this sum is smaller than two n, then big O for this recursion algorithm is n. This is another example. Show that the solution of t n equal t n minus one plus n is big O n square. We guess uh, t n equals c n square, then t of n equals c n minus one square plus n, which is equal to c n square minus two c n plus c plus n, which is equals to c n square plus n one minus two c plus c, 
and this is less than c n square and this solves for c greater than one half so the complexity of this algorithm is big o n square here we have some substitution complexities if t of n equals big o of one plus t of n minus one then big o is n if it is equal big o of n plus t n minus one then t of n equals big o of n square here if we have n square then the complexity again will be in cube if t n equals big o of one plus t n over two then the complexity will be big o of log n if it is n plus t t of n over two then t n equals big o of n and for divide and concur algorithms uh, if t n equals big o of n plus two t n over two then the complexity is n log n and really this is the merge sort next we move to master theorem the master method gives us a quick way to find solutions to recurrence relations of the form this is the general form t of n equals a t of n over b plus f of n where a and b are constants a greater than or equal to one uh, and b greater than one here a rep represents how many recursive calls are made for example in binary search one split we have and in uh, mere sort we have two splits b here represents the factor by which the work is reduced in each recursive call for example binary search and mere sort cut input in half and f of n represents how much work is done by each call outside the recursion usually a function of n for example big o of n big o of one etc in master theorem we first have to find the parameters a b and f of n after that we can determine the runtime of the work done by the recursion this is given by the formula and the, this function is called split recursion function next we compare this split recursion function with f of n and we have three cases case one if the recursion split runtime here is greater than f of n then the final runtime or the complexity is the recursion split function here in case two if the recursion split function is equal or near the function f of n in this case the complexity equals to log n multiplied by the recursion split runtime and in case three if the recursion split runtime is less than the function f of n in this case the complexity is f of n here is an example we have the function case one of n and on the return we have case one in over four plus case one in over four first we have to identify a b and f of n we have here two sub problems case one and k here and case one here so a, equal, a equals two sub problems is one four of the original size so b equals four and if of n equals one since the complexity of the work outside the recursion is one by substituting these values in, into the formula we get t of n equals 2 t n over 4 plus 1. next what is the run time of the recursion by itself using the formula n to the power log a base b we get n to the power log 2 base 4 which is n to the power one half uh, square root of n 
and since big O of square root of n is greater than big O of 1, then we have case 1, and the complexity is n to the power a half, which is big O of square n. Here we have another example on case 1. Suppose this is the function t of n, as you see, a equals 16 and b equal 4, and f of n equal n. Now the recursion split function is equal n to the power log uh, 16 base 4 is 2. So we have n square. Uh, we compare now n square with f of n. Here, f of n equals n. Since n square is greater than n, then we have case 1. So uh, the complexity is uh, n to the power log a base 2, which is n square. Here we have example on case 2. As you see, a, a equals 4, b equals 2, and f of n equals n square. It's very easy to find the uh, recursion split function. Here we have n square. And since n square is equal to f of n, so we have case 2. And the complexity in this case is the recursion split function by itself multiplied by log n, which is n square log n. Here we have another example. As you see, a equals 3, b equals 4, and the function of, of n equals n log n. The recursion split function is n log 3 base 4, which is n to the power 0.75. And this is less than n log n. So we have case 3. And the complexity in this case is equal to the function f of n. Here we have it. Here is another example. Here a is 8 and b is 2. And the function c n square. By finding the recursion split function, we have n log 8 to the base 2, which is 3. So the complexity in this case is n cube. Master method is a powerful approach for finding the complexity of a recursive algorithm, but has the drawback that it cannot be used in the following cases. First, if the function t of n is not monotone, for example, t of n equal cosine or sine n, Second, if the function f of n is not polynomial like this function. And third, if b cannot be expressed as a constant. As a conclusion, you notice that the substitution method is a powerful approach, able to prove upper bounds for almost all occurrences, but it requires the use of induction. The master method can be used to derive a tight bound with this work but it cannot be used in all cases. For now, thank you.